Hey guys, Reed here. Today I'm happy to announce a heavily requested feature update to conditional formatting for both tables and matrices. This update now allows conditional formatting to be applied to both the values and the totals of a table, allowing for easier comparison of certain metrics at both the detail and the subtotal level as you can see here in the screenshot. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. Now I want to start by showing you the previous way that conditional formatting used to work in Power BI. We have a standard matrix table in front of us with a subtotal and values detail below that. And previously, conditional formatting would only show at the lowest level visible on the table. If you wanted the formatting to be applied to the subtotal, you'd have to first collapse the table, and then the conditional formatting would roll up because now the lowest level showing is just month and year. And as soon as I expand that out again, then it's now only being applied to that value level, which is the very lowest level displaying in the matrix table. But with the recent update, we now have something that allows us to get this effect that we see here. Notice that the conditional formatting for average tuition and state and average admission rate is being applied to both the subtotal and values below that. Now, before I show you how to do this, I will just mention a word of caution. You know, be careful when you are applying at different levels of granularity, because sometimes certain things aren't fair to compare against each other. Averages, I think, can be a fair comparison at a subtotal and granular level because they're not going to be that far apart from each other. But if you're doing any kind of sums and applying conditional formatting to that, as an example, the college count, I don't think it would be very beneficial to have it at both of those levels. But let me go ahead and open this up and show you where those settings are. And if you go over, as an example, to the average tuition in state, you go to conditional formatting. I will mention that the conditional formatting to be applied at the subtotal level works for background color font color, and icons as well, but it does not work for data bars. So just as a note for that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the icons, which is what's applied, and notice that I have an option up here to apply to. I have one for apply to values and totals. Now a couple things to note in here. Um, when you do this, you have to manually come in and set the values here. So let me actually show you what I mean when I say that. I'm going to go ahead and just go to conditional formatting and remove the icons here. There we go. And let's try to reapply it. Conditional formatting, icons. And notice when it says values only, it automatically has a percent, zero to 33. So it creates the buckets based off of a percentile. And that works for any of the icons or any of the background colors that I have. It can auto set the values for you for a min and a max. All of those are in percent here. Now, as soon as I change that to values and totals, that is now fixed to a number. So because it can't get ranges from multiple levels, I have to go in and manually adjust this myself. So just something to be aware of when you're applying it at both levels, you have to manually create the ranges. It won't be done automatically for you. Go ahead and put my icons back on. And the same thing is also applicable to the background color. I have to actually set my min and my max. Otherwise, if I do values only, I can still say lowest and highest. So just make sure you are aware of that current requirement. And that's really about it. I know that they are planning to have additional changes coming out because this does not cover all the requirements that some people are looking for, but it's certainly a really good and useful step in the right direction to be able to apply some types of formatting now at the subtotal level. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.